Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. And so welcome back to another one, you guys. If you are new to the channel, my name is Andrew with Mercedes Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on our inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. Today we are in the brand new 2022 CA Corvette. Just got it in on a trade. It is currently available, so feel free to check out our website at drivemb.com for more information on this beauty. In today's video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering core ride quality, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2022 c8 corvette first one being the one lt starting at seventy three thousand ninety five dollars two lt for seventy nine thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars and the three lt for eighty four thousand five hundred and forty five dollars but Regardless of which trim level that you go with, the power plant on this beast is going to be the same. Powering the C8 is a 6.2 liter direct injected V8, putting out 490 horsepower at around 6,400 RPM, 465 pound-feet of torque coming in at 5,100 RPM. Did want to also mention though, there is a C51 performance package that is available. That is going to bump those power numbers up to 495 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, sent to rear wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which we're going to be testing out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately three seconds flat or 2.8 seconds for the Z51. Top speed 184 miles per hour with MPG numbers coming in at 16 in the city, 24 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel. We said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the C8, I wanted to mention to you guys drive modes there is actually a circular dial located just to the right of the shift buttons there that's going to give you tour, weather, sport, track, my mode and Z mode. Those last two are essentially the customizable modes, but adjusting things like the shift points and throttle response, steering sensitivity, suspension settings, and the braking response actually as well. So now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 Chevy Corvette C8 here up to speed. All right, in three, two, one, go baby, shoot, ah! <laughs> wow, that was freaking amazing, that took me back to my Audi R8 test drive, that thing, this is ridiculous, son, wow, that was fun, I'm gonna have to do that again a little bit later, but that is definitely gonna put a smile on your face, needless to say, you're not gonna have any issues in merging onto the highway, the paddle shifters were ridiculously quick they feel insanely high quality you get a little bit of a pop when you shift gears as well and like i said the best part about it is this is an all-wheel drive and there wasn't any spinning there wasn't any loss of grip whatsoever it instantly put the power to the ground which is weird because a lot of rear-wheel drive cars like the camaro like the mustang cars like that you're just spinning with the c8 corvette maybe it's because it's a mid-engine there was no spinning whatsoever so it was like an all-wheel drive acceleration that was wonderful without a doubt but anyways to pull along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front disc in the back 13.8 inch ventilated rear disc and of course a brembo braking setup is going to come standard across the board that pretty much says it all right there but on top of that if you were to go with the z51 you're actually going to get upgraded brakes so a little larger brakes as well so overall as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes just tapping the brakes here very probably the most firm braking feel i have ever tested within my past 600 plus test drives it instantly brings you to a stop 60 zero stopping distance is 97 feet which is certainly probably the best i've ever tested yet again that stopping distance number is insane usually you get upper 130s in suvs usually 120s in sports sedans i know my mustang was 99 feet so with c8 corvette coming in at 97 it has got to be the best braking i have ever experienced and like i said extremely firm braking feel to this thing but anyway then touching on suspension and handling you're going to get a short and long arm devil wishbone type suspension direct acting stabilizer bar in the back as well and the z51 package is actually going to add a performance adjustable suspension allowing it to be lowered for the track of course and there is magnetic 
magnetic ride control available as well. And so I always like to recommend that one because it monitors each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, adjusting to the road imperfections, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds. That's definitely an option I always like to recommend. And having said that, ride quality has been, it's probably the first thing I noticed surprisingly, even in a Corvette, it's insanely smooth. This thing almost rides like a luxury car for what it is, I'll put it that way. It doesn't ride like an S-Class, I guess you could say, but it rides extremely smooth. It very much surprised me for what this car is. So ride quality is 100% on point. Steering feel, it's like a little go-kart, man. And it adjusts based on the drive modes as well. So steering feels 100% on point. Cabin noise, obviously we're in a convertible, so you're gonna get a little bit of wind noise because we're in a convertible, so that's perfectly fine. And touching on visibility, I don't know. I, there is a little bit of a window right here, so even with the top down, that window kind of hinders it a little bit, but other than that, if that was gone, this would be 100% perfect. And also touching on visibility, I am looking at a head-up display right now, giving me my speed, speed limit, what gear I'm in, and its safety features as well. So that's definitely gonna assist with visibility there too, but. That pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Chevy Corvette. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Chevy Corvette. Definitely a very nice looking spec on this one. But let me actually first touch on the convertible spec, speaking of. So as I said at the beginning of the video, the convertible adds $7,500 over the standard coupe version. So this is what that looks like essentially. It just adds 77 pounds, that's it. So that's not that bad. It retracts in only 16 seconds, also very quick. And the coolest part is it can actually operate at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. So if you're on some back roads maybe and it starts to rain all of a sudden, you can actually put the convertible top back up in 16 seconds at up to 30 miles per hour. So that's pretty cool. And I actually use the six electric motor as well a couple different ways to go ahead and operate this um, easiest way from outside the vehicle of course is just to use the key fob so I wanted to show that to you guys real quick but that is how the convertible end of things operates but let's go ahead and start up front of course you have some massive air curtains if you even want to call them that to the left and to the right plenty of gloss black accents up front you got the corvette lettering found just underneath of that front line there also the corvette badging of course as well there's going to be a matte black front lip so it definitely gives a more aggressive appearance there to the sides led headlights do come standard with led daytime running lights and you do get the automatic feature with that as well meaning when it starts to get dark at night those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there did want to also mention though since like i mentioned this is a mid engine i think everyone knows that at this point you actually have a frunk that is pretty cool and a decent amount of space within that frunk as well meaning front trunk so definitely some added storage there so that's always good for some added utility of this thing because a lot of people think sports cars you can't live with them on a regular basis but there's actually another trunk in the back as well so you got two trunks that is pretty cool but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side so now since we are around to the side of the corvette body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard they will be heated as well with led integrated turn signals they will also be though power folding with the driver's side auto dimming mirror as well so somebody has their high beams on behind you let's say you got an auto dimming rear view mirror of course but also an auto dimming driver's side mirror which you don't usually get on other vehicles out there so i wanted to emphasize that massive air vents of course towards the back with some gloss black accents that assists with helping keeping the engine cool of course and corvette racing themed graphic package that's available for 525 dollars. i wanted to mention that because we have that so you guys can tell by the stingray r logo on the front doors and also there is a great graphic on the hood then as well so a little bit of uniqueness making this vehicle its own really but then taking a look at the wheel setup 19 inches up front 20 inches in the back yes it is a staggered fitment as most performance cars will have and it is a five spoke standard design as you guys can clearly see i believe silver is the standard design although we do have the black wheels today and there are plenty of other wheel configurations available as well but pretty much rounds out the side of this thing let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so first thing i wanted to mention since we are around to the back here the one big differentiating factor between the coupe and the convertible of course with the exception of the roof is the fact that you can't see the engine on the convertible so if you were to open and close that convertible you're actually going to find that there's no view of the engine so with the coupe you can actually show it off with the convertible 
you can't see it. So I did want to mention that, but plenty of rear spoilers available for this one. The Z51 style is particularly my favorite. That's what you guys are currently looking at. And it's a couple different finishes as well. You can get a body colored or gloss black or a couple different finishes. Like I said, Corvette lettering spelled out horizontally, finished in gloss black yet again. You do have LED taillights in typical Corvette fashion. That looks pretty darn good back there as well. Just below it all, you have somewhat of a gloss black rear diffuser. And then to the sides, get ready, you guys. The exhaust clip is coming soon. Dual exhaust outlets with quad stainless steel tips, and there is a performance exhaust available with the Z51 package. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the CA Corvette here, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob. There is also actually a button on the driver's side door as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 12.6 cubic feet. So actually a decent amount of space back there. Keep in mind, if you just get done driving for a long time, since the engine is back there, when you open it up for a first time, it is going to be a little bit hot back there, but it's really not that bad. So just keep that in mind though. The other cool thing about the trunk is when you actually close it, it's a soft close trunk like Mercedes Benz and BMW does with their doors a lot of times. Chevy apparently did with the C8 Corvette. So you just have to get it close and it's gonna automatically kind of like suction it back in so that is a pretty cool feature as well but then since there's no back seats let's go ahead and make our way up to the front seats here eight-way power adjustable front seats do come standard GT bucket seats are going to be the standard configuration GT2 bucket seats coming with the three LT trim level only having said that if you guys are curious you are looking at the GT bucket seats right now heated and ventilated front seats coming with the two LT and three LT trim levels as far as seat comfort goes in our GT bucket seats perfectly fine definitely love the bolsters on these seats it helps hold you in place perfectly fine there so no issues with seat comfort whatsoever and take a look at the steering wheel one of my favorite parts actually tilt and telescoping of course it is actually power adjustable that does come standard it is leather wrapped and it is heated for the two and three lt trims and it is essentially I don't know what you would call that. I believe you would call it a hexagon steering wheel or hexagonal steering wheel because I believe there are six sides here. I can't really tell. It's either a square or a hexagon. <laughs> One or the other. I think it's a hexagon, but I love it because to me, turning in this thing feels absolutely right. So I am a huge fan of the shape of the steering wheel as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the gauges. It is a full digital gauge cluster. It's a full 12 inch digital gauge cluster to be exact. When you adjust the drive modes, you're going to get notification up on those gauges as well, of course. And and you can control different things using the steering wheel mounted controls up on the uh, digital portion of those gauges. For example, you have a performance timer. You can actually set a zero to 60. If you wanted to time your best zero to 60 time. That's always fun. You got trip A, trip B. Outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. Apparently when you need your next oil life as well. That's always pretty cool. So pretty much everything you could possibly want up on the digital portion of the gauges there. I think I'm going to leave it on the uh, zero to 60 timer. I think that's pretty darn cool. But now let's go Go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Orange seat belts are available, yellow seat belts are available. There's plenty of customization that is available for this thing. So I want to start by saying that carbon fiber trim is available. The 2LT and 3LT trims are actually going to add universal home remote, aka garage door openers for up to three different garage doors. There's a wireless phone charger with those two trims as well. It's going to be located kind of in the back here between the two seats. I got my phone charge in there right now, actually. There is a rear view camera as well, which I am looking at right now. I think that's super cool, but you can flip it back to the regular rear view mirror, but don't also mention there is a rear view camera. So that is pretty darn cool. I love that. And overall, essentially all of your buttons are gonna be located on this kind of like row of buttons, essentially dividing the passenger and driver seat here from your climate control, heated and ventilated seat buttons, pretty much all the basics when it comes to climate control, I guess you could say. Another cool thing about the Corvette is to open the glove box, there's actually a kind of hidden button located in between the two air vents there in the passenger side. So wanted to mention that as well, since it's a little bit different. I love the red contrast stitching going through the doors as well as just above those passenger side air vents as well. So red contrast stitching looks really good with our black and red interior here. You got dual cup holders located kind of just behind the shift buttons there within the center armrest. You have actually a USB charging port, auxiliary port, and a regular phone charging port there as well. So honestly, 
This is a very nice interior. It's kind of luxury like so. I'm a huge fan of what we got going on here. But so now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. Eight inch color touchscreen display is going to come standard. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with that. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You will get factory navigation system if you were to go with the two LT or three LT trim levels. Can of course adjust your radio information up there as well and also climate control settings. And there is also a lap timer that will record your fastest lap time. And apparently all you need is an SD card. So that's that is pretty cool. I like the picture that they put of the C8 Corvette up there as well. But anyways, back to the radio information. There are a couple different sound systems available for the C8 Corvette. You will get a Bose 10 speaker sound system for the 1LT and then a Bose 14 speaker sound system for the 2LT and the 3LT trim levels. So having said that, what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. We do have the Bose 14 speaker sound system with us here today. So let's see what we got planned and let's test out the clarity of this one. Yeah, Bass is insane. Clarity is 100% on point. As I always say, I've had Bose sound systems in my cars before. They have never, ever failed me. Bose is a very reputable company, and there was plenty of loudness for a convertible like the C8 Corvette here that we have today. So 100% sound system is on point. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the C8 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard. You got a couple different views there to choose from as well. And as I mentioned earlier, you have the rear camera mirror as well. So plenty of different ways you can check out what is behind you. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard tire pressure monitoring system, rear parking sensors coming standard as well, and side blind zone alert if you were to go with the 2LT or 3LT trim level. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the C8, insanely quick, very quick paddle shifters. So huge fan of that. The braking is unbelievable the best braking i've ever experienced in any cars of my 600 plus drive so far so wonderful braking there great handling great interior and when it comes to that original question that i gave you guys at the beginning of the video is the convertible actually worth it compared to the coupe at this point and in this day and age i would say heck yes this thing is incredible and i say heck yes because it is so hard to find cars these days let alone a car like the c8 corvette if you can find any of them i would definitely say go for it if you're in the market for one because this kind of is a coupe right now if you think of it that way so you got the best of both worlds i say yes you got the money for a c8 corvette why not splurge for the extra 7500 and get the convertible because it is still a heck of a car but anyways let me know what you guys think in the new c8 corvette in the comment section below and so but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow mercedes benz of hagerstown at social media at the bottom of the screen be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews and everything else that goes on at the dealership we do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and we will see you guys all in the next video bye wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good